In this lab, we will continue to explore the topics around network file sharing and uh, Centrify integration. Uh, in a previous topic, we talked about NFS and how NFS uses the get, get password UID function from the OS and leverages NSS to find out about user identities. And we saw how when a standalone system doesn't know about a user, you can treat the share in different ways, assigning maybe a fixed UID or even denying it. Or you can just take in the RPC request and um, accept the identity as it is. In that case, it's really easy to resolve because all we need to do is centrify the system and we're all looking at the same information, which is the zone. But in the case of Samba, Samba is a special product. Uh, it accomplishes a lot. And uh, in the case of Samba, what we have is a different way uh, to um, determine user identities, and that's the ID mapping facility. Um, depending on how the Samba server is configured, um, you know, there's different ways to that it does it. Um, in my particular case, I've added a Ubuntu system, and I've joined it to um, to the domain using Samba. So if I do a net ads info, you can see that I've joined that computer to the domain. Um, and uh, it is my Active Directory at the same time. Um, if I take a look at uh, further how this is configured, uh, do a you will see that um, basically I've, I'm done a very simple um, deployment here. I've uh, I don't have any any magic that I'm adding to the ID map, I'm just saying, hey, you know, start from 500 all the way to that top number, right? Um, so it's a, it's a very simple way to assign um, UID, GID information. The problem arises is because I already have um, a source of UID, GID information, which is the Centrify zone. So if I were to look at um, um, you know, Jesse, for example, and, uh, you know, the Samba is also uh, NSS hours, so I could do get end and rep. You will see that Jesse happens to have UID 505, right? So at this point, I have two sources of identity information that at, at some point are going to conflict. Another issue that I see is that you know, when we do the Samba, and of course there's different ways to get around this, but my my governance model is broken because now instead of any, you know, just the right people going into the right systems, now I have uh, something like this. Um, uh, let's see. And you will see that all my users from Active Directory have been uh, basically granted access. So, um, you know, I have a little less flexibility with that. Um, what is my, in, in the context of what we're talking about, if Jesse were to access this network share, I have a, a Samba share in my Ubu One machine, and let's just say create a file. Um, if I go to my Samba system and I look at, um, you know, that file, See, in here, not only it's looking at, it's translating it as jesse.matthews, which is not my standard. My standard is uh, the transformation that I did in the zone. And if I look at the, you know, the number here, it's UID 505. This would be okay as long as he's logging in uh, with his account. But then, you know, if this was a filer, then we would have a different problem here. So we have Mult basically duplicated capabilities here. We have Centrify on one side and uh, um, you know uh, Samba on the other side. So uh, the best solution for us is to Centrify the system because in this case Ubuntu is also a um, uh, supported platform uh, for Centrify. And but there's another thing: the fact that we Centrify the system doesn't mean that the the way a Samba assigns IDs with the ID mapper facility is going to change. So 
That's why Centrify has come up with Centrify Enhanced Samba. It is basically Samba with a different method to assign you IDGADs, which is looking at the zone information. Uh, so we're going to be looking at uh, Centrify in this system uh, with uh, AD Client and uh, Centrify Enhanced Samba.